All right, so snap on Thursdays for me. And the guy left a little while ago, my dealer. And this is what I picked up. It's just a temperature probe. It takes two AAA batteries, goes in the back, has a magnet on it. And what it is, this is good for testing air conditioners. It has a temperature sensor on the rear, much like many uh, RV thermostats, internal temp sensor. And then it has this remote sensor on a long lead. So if I wanted to test the return air and the supply air at the same time and get my Delta T, I could, I could use this to do that. So I'm getting my ambient temperature from the internal temperature and then I can get the remote temp from in there from the other sensor. And how much did this little gym cost? It was $103, but I believe he gave me a deal on it because he had it on the truck for a long time and he didn't sell it. That's why the box probably looks like this from a thousand hands handling it and tossing it around. Batteries were dead on arrival. They didn't work. So I can't even turn it on right now. I have to get some AAA batteries, but I still wanted to go ahead and show you guys uh, what it is and what it does. And that was the only thing that I really picked up off the truck today, right? My toolbox is super messy because I am working on a bunch of stuff and I didn't really have time to clean it off because I'm kind of using some of this stuff. But this is the tool that I have for today. I'll probably be updating this again with another video. I have the, uh, the Fluke. TS100, which I'll probably add to this video and make it just one video. So that's all I have for right now. RV Tech Pro out. Hey guys, so yesterday when I got home, my package had arrived uh, from California, which I ordered this from uh, Candy Twins on uh, eBay. And it's in relatively good condition. The device does work. Uh, came with the leads, uh, very similar to the leads that I showed you on my other Fluke device. Has the bed of nails, so it has like the little puncture right here. So if you got a fat wire, you can just pierce it with a good size needle or smaller wires, bed of nails, and then some serrated jaws at the tip for uh, bare wires like uh, what I have here. So I can easily connect that there. We'll be doing a, a quick test with this random piece of wire that I found hanging up in the shop. Okay, so the leads are good. It's a braided cord, uh, looks pretty good. Also came with a case with a clip. So the case holds the, uh, the cord and the actual device. So. I, I really don't have to take it out of this case. The, you know, it's a little dirty. I might clean it up a bit. And then this pocket holds the leads and it snaps together on the bottom. It says AT&T, I guess. Whoever had this used to work for AT&T. All right, and, and this device isn't new by any means. I've seen YouTube videos of old advertisements, videos shot by Fluke, Fluke Networks and they were like 10 years old. So this is not anything new. It's just, I didn't know about it until I was watching a video from My RV Works and he was saying how handy it was. He actually was working on a furnace that had an issue and he used this device. And when he put it on the wires for the furnace, uh, I believe the wires that are coming from the thermostat to kind of see where his fault was on which side it was, it came up like two feet. So he didn't have to go tearing a bunch of stuff apart. He knew that it was within two feet, so it was right there at the furnace somewhere and it was at the first Molex connector from the uh, bare wire that he had. So that sold me on it right there because I do a lot of uh, DC electrical diagnostics and this is something 
that will help me out. I, I, I don't have time to tear a whole camper apart. I want to know about how far from my problem area is the short or the cut wire or the open. So this is going to be pretty, pretty sweet. It has a tone. So when you short your wires together, um, it will tone. So let's do a quick test here. I'll just swing you around a little bit. So put the tester there and uh, get you over here. So I'm gonna just connect my leads as I would. And if this was routed through walls, I would know right away that eight feet. So in eight feet, eight feet away is gonna be my problem. Now, if this was shorted, because if you're working on DC and the fuse is blown, you don't know why and you're trying to trace out the problem, if it was shorted, you would get the tone, right? And also, if it wasn't shorted and you're in a bundle of wires and you wanted to verify if you had your pair, then you would just touch them yourself and you would get the tone, okay? So this is a pretty cool device. I'm actually gonna use it today. I'm working on a motorhome with an issue. Um, I'm looking for a latching relay that I cannot find. I know it's in there because of my two volt reference voltage. And that is for uh, when you have motorhomes or big fifth wheels that have multiple switches that operate the water pump or whenever you have multiple switches that operate one device, then they're using some type of logic control or a monoplex latching relay to accomplish that. And someone, previous technician from a different shop has relocated that relay from its original location and it's hidden somewhere and I can't find it. So I'll be trying to trace out the lines with this and try to get a little more information by knowing a distance from my open end to uh, possibly where my uh, latching relay might be. So I'll be using this today. So that's just a quick overview. Um, on the back, it has different ratings for different types of wire. So you, you can see that. But all in all, this this I pretty much knew what I was getting into when I got this. It takes four AA batteries. I had some from Harbor Freight, um, and I just put them in there. They're cheap. Doesn't bother me. They're just batteries. I've never had a problem with uh, their batteries exploding or anything. So if they go dead quick, so what? I'll just put put some more in there. No problem. I've had those batteries for over a year. And pretty happy with the purchase. So this is it. I'm gonna go ahead and get to work and put this thing to work and see how it does. And I'll do a more in-depth review after I've had some time with the tool, um, using it, letting you know how it did. That's all for now. RV Tech Pro out.